lot of winter weather. Yeah, we ended yesterday that way and we're starting this day the same way. We have some snow and mixed precipitation moving into the Miami Valley. Yesterday we had that mix. It started off as some sleet and rain and then we saw some snow and here are a look at some of those accumulations yesterday had around three inches up around Greenville Versailles 2.7 in Troy uh, two and a half in the Dayton area uh, Fairborn right around two inches and then some lower amounts across some of southern Montgomery County and southern Greene County where we had anywhere from a half inch up to an inch and down towards Springboro just a trace of snow so uh, just depending on where you were you got a little more than other counties and today we're starting off with some drizzle freeze drizzle possible. That's what we're seeing at the Dayton International Airport right now. It's 32 degrees and even some snow in spots. At noon, we may see a break in the precipitation, but then a few more scattered uh, snow showers potentially mixing with rain for the afternoon. We'll be up to 34 at 3 o'clock, but by 5 o'clock, we drop back down to 31. It's going to be a late day temperature drop rather quickly as winds start to pick up. It's not breezy right now, but they'll be getting up there 10 to 20 gusting to 25. Live Doppler 2 HD radar shows some snow up towards Piqua, Greenville, Arcana, even back through Eaton, but you get into Montgomery County, Southern Miami County, and it's more of a mixed precipitation where you could have some freezing rain or rain, just depending on your temperatures. Zooming out, it does extend back through Indiana, so we're going to continue to see this impact us through the morning drive today. Looks kind of messy out on the roads early on. The winter weather impacts, not terribly cold today, but we are going to be near freezing, so we'll have to watch for some isolated slick areas. And we may see a glaze of ice in parts of the Miami Valley with some of that freezing drizzle, freezing rain coming through. Snowfall today looks minimal, less than an inch, but we're almost up at that moderate level just because it is coming during the morning commute when everybody's going to be heading out on the roads. And then later this afternoon, those winds will pick up and they'll be gusting up to about 25 miles per hour. Precip chance today fairly good at 50%. Tomorrow, maybe just a few morning flurries, but the afternoon looks dry Friday. And check it out, finally, a dry weekend, Saturday and Sunday looking okay. It's 32, winds are coming in from the north at 12, so that makes it feel like 23 degrees and a couple spots have dropped into the 20s. We're seeing that out towards Richmond, 28 with some freezing drizzle in Wayne County and then up in Bell Fountain, 28 degrees there. We have temperatures near 30 in Bell or Wapakoneta and Minster, 31 in Greenville and Troy with some snow falling in Dark County. Future track continues to show that wintry precipitation through the morning, but as we head through lunchtime, we should catch a break in that. Uh, but then a few more showers will develop mid to late afternoon. So coming at home at five, you could hit some snow, maybe even mixed with a little rain. And then this will taper off to just a few flurries overnight. It still looks mostly cloudy into tomorrow morning, and we can't rule out a morning flurry Friday. But then the clouds will be breaking up as we start to see some sunshine through the afternoon. It's just going to be very cold tomorrow. Today we'll have some morning f snow, freezing rain or rain. And even in the afternoon, the potential will be there for a few spotty snow showers will become breezy with a high of 35 degrees. Overnight, quite cold. We are going to drop down to 12 degrees. It looks mostly cloudy. Can't rule out a flurry into tomorrow morning. And early wind chills on Friday will be down near zero. We'll see decreasing afternoon clouds and only make it up to 23 degrees. In your Storm Team 2 seven-day forecast, we have another morning near 12 Saturday, but a high of 38. And then we'll continue that warming trend Sunday and Monday in the 40s. And Tuesday will be close to 50 with some rain showers. You can get the Storm Team 2 weather app in your app store for free. You can always have your detailed local forecast on hand. Right now, we're going to check out the road conditions out there with Melissa Barrington in Live Drive 2. Good morning, and we are currently on 70 westbound in the Brookville area. When we went through Trotwood and Englewood, we def definitely picked up some heavier amounts of rain, and it was more steady. And now that we are out here in Brookville, we are changing over to freezing rain and some sleet, and it looks like it might even now be mixing in with some snow. Right now, as you can see here, as we are driving, still the roads are moving along just fine. However, there is some slush that is starting to build on the side of the roads, and it's coming down pretty good, as you can see here. Uh, it's mixing in from time to time with some snow flurries. So far, we haven't encountered really any real slick spots, but again, those bridges and overpasses are definitely places that you need to watch out for those icy spots. We did see a salt truck that just went by on the uh, eastbound lanes of I-70, so we're going to continue to monitor this as this uh, wave of weather continues to work its way eastward. Of course, we will give you an update as we continue to go throughout the rest of the morning. A meteorologist, Melissa Barrington, for Two News Today, working for you.